Welcome back to Asgard, and welcome to another episode of our Inventions modded Minecraft Let's Play series. Uh, if you recall, last episode we set up this big turbine. Um, still hasn't really heated up, um, because after recording the last episode, I decided we really should get into Applied Energistics. Um, so we can go ahead and build our base around that because otherwise we're going to have to change it all out. And with this pack it's fairly easy um, to get into Applied Energistics. So let's go ahead and craft ourselves a... Um, oh yeah, I don't have any iron. Of course not. But I think I have some... Nope. Okay, let me grab some iron. Um... But it's fairly easy to get ourselves into Applied Energistics, and so we're going to go ahead and get a Meteorite Compass and start going around and looking for some of the presses. So, let's get, let's just get a stack of iron, actually, because, as you can tell, it really doesn't, it doesn't touch our uh, Blaze Powder collection there. Um, I really wish they'd add a way in, uh, to automate that in this pack. But one thing I've noticed with this pack is they're not, I mean, it's been out for a little while now, and there still hasn't really been any updates to it. So it kind of concerns me, um, honestly, because there's a lot of work in progress stuff in this pack. I don't know what I'm doing there. Um, so it is, oops, it is kind of a concern for me that... Huh. Okay, maybe we have to just use the cutting knife to start. That's possible. Um let's see. Where are the here they are. Logic processors. No, we have to use the inscriber. and we have to use the press. Okay, we can craft the press um, in this pack. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, we've already got a rolling machine, if you recall. I already made one to make uh, tracks and stuff. So where is this, where is this fellow? He must be down here somewhere. I saw him grabbing up my dirt and stuff. <coughs> There we go. Um, so we'll go ahead and get the stuff together to make our presses. And one of these. And then to make the silicone press. Uh, it's just a piece of silicone. And then to make Oh, it's probably diamond and sardis, I'll bet. So we'll just go ahead and plan for that. I just realized it's basically a block of iron and, you know, whatever uh, piece that you're crafting is. So let's go ahead and get our four blocks of iron. Throw them in here. And click it. And there's our engineering. Okay, that one doesn't work. Am I crazy? Or... <laughs> shouldn't that be the... Uh... Oh, it's nether quartz? Huh. Okay. This pack's kind of kind of strange in some ways, I think. Okay. But like most of the equivalent exchange stuff's all work in progress, so um I'm not entirely sure. Like I said, there hasn't really been an update since the pack first released. Not that I've noticed. Um it hasn't ever prompted me for updates or anything like that. Um Actually, after this episode, I might just manually check for one. 
So maybe it's just not prompting me or something. Um, but we'll see. So we got our presses, and so now we're going to go ahead. I wonder if this has AE2 stuff in the pack. No. No. Just garden stuff, deco craft. Um, well, that's okay. We can do it with the standard inscriber. Okay, so we'll need a fluix. That's all fine. Um, I think for now. Well, I'll tell you what. We'll just go up, up, uh, above. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab just all the charge that we've got, and then. Um, I have one nether quartz. Okay. I'll um, grab some of that out of the thing. Grab a stack of redstone. And I don't believe, I know Sardis quartz has an exchange value, but charged does not. So the charger, okay, it just takes fluix as well. Okay. I want to double check on that. I noticed the recipes are a little bit different. Um. And there's that and I'm assuming I'm assuming that fluix is not changed but I guess we'll find out in just a second so there we go all right we'll head on down and get our sticky pistons and oh yeah I threw all the iron in here I was like where did all that go okay and do I have no I don't have pistons prep I'll just buy some actually I don't know why I'm even worried about uh, crafting half this stuff because we've got tons of blaze powder um Can we not do sticky pistons right now? That's too bad. Okay, do I have slime balls? No? Okay. Let me see here. How are we going to get this sticky? Um, well, I know it doesn't have Tinker's Construct. Let's see. Um, rubber would work just fine. Um, mine factory reloaded rubber. Let's see. Okay. I didn't think about that. So there's our sticky piston. And we'll go ahead and kind of curious how do we get sky stone oh pulverized coal and then stone will get us two pieces Ugh. okay I wonder I wonder why there's no meteors in this pack I find that kind of strange so we're gonna go ahead and get our charger and our inscriber and then I think Let's see, what's the ME controller take? And is it um, scannable? Okay. No, it's not scannable. It's going to take four pure fluix, can't be normal, four skystone blocks, and an engineering processor. Okay. Nothing too crazy. Um, now, to get our energy acceptor, then we're going to need quartz glass. Okay, that's still the same. So let's get ourselves some quartz. I've got that actually. Let me get some glass. And we'll make up a bit of this. It's not, starting it's not too much different, I guess, but uh, it was a little bit of a shock. Actually, let me steal 
this octatic for right now and throw it in here. Alright. I need to actually get all the power changed over. I can't totally slip my mind. Because I was like, well, we'll go ahead and just jump right into applied energistics and I did slip my mind. Um for those of you that don't know, this week has been very hectic for me. Um Oh, I forgot to make the quartz glass. Um just been really, really busy across, you know, the different series and everything and um Um, yeah, we'll just get all of it. And, um, so I've been trying to get it all caught back up so we're on, uh, you know, where we should be and everything. I know, like, uh, yesterday I had to postpone the Terraria video because it was just, you know, we've, we've been getting, so, like, been so busy with, you know, prep work and everything for different episodes and, um, so I've been trying to trying to get all caught up here. Um, I am thinking about just as a side note, I am thinking possibly about moving the base. Um, let me know what you guys think. If you like the base here, I don't know. Like I, it's I'm not. I guess I'm not crazy about it right now. I guess it's, I'd say. So I was thinking about moving it. You know, a different design or something. Um, of course, it'll be a little while. But I figure, you know, if if I decide to move it, now would be a good time to start Applied Energistics because that's something I'd, I'd prefer to just set up like one time and build the base around it. It's usually a good time to move base uh, whenever you start Applied Energistics. So... Alright, so this is going to accept energy for us. Um, the controllers would as well, but we're not going to be able to use, you know, anything in the system until uh, we get that controller if we did it that way, so. So we'll need some of this quartz fiber. Um, to make our fluix um, quartz, or fluix cable, sorry. But yeah, I'm actually running on zero sleep right now, so I um, do apologize. Okay, so we'll let, let's get some of this quartz fiber here. Um, yeah, we'll just get 21, because I know we'll end up using it. And for right now, we will go with um, just this ME Fluix cable. Um, I don't really want to use up all of our Fluix right now. Not right this second. At least until we get the charger plugged in and everything. So. Let's go ahead and run this out. And I'm actually going to right here. Let's see. I don't want to do this. I'll do it here. Okay. And our charger, let's see, I kind of want to automate all of these, like semi-automate them. So, our charger, oh, oops, sorry. We're going to set it right here. Let me get a couple chests and we'll get this kind of semi-automated. So, and let's go ahead and get, well, well, let's get three stacks of it. That works too. Uh, I don't have any standard chests in there, so. Okay. I don't have any, okay, I don't have any in here either. Um, yeah, we'll just go with the, um, oak wood. Um, I want to say, eight, let's go 16 pieces. Get ourselves a few chests here. 
I'm not gonna go too crazy with the chests, like making them. I, oh yeah, that crafting recipe doesn't work in this pack. I'm not gonna go too crazy and make them diamond or anything like that. Just standard chest is fine. Um, and then I've got. Okay, I need some more item conduits, which that's also fine. We have uh, blaze rods, blaze powder. So. Let's get That's not even I mean it's not even scratching the amount of energy value that we have built up. Not to mention all the blaze powder that it's not even touching. Okay, thirty sounds awesome. <laughs> I mean honestly at this point, you know, I thought about setting up a quarry or something, which we probably still will end up doing that just to do it. Um, that's pretty much what this pack seems like is it's kind of like just do things to do them so we're gonna set this to in and out mode insert on the green channel and we'll have it extract on the brown channel always no not always active um, we'll need a filter let's see let me think do I have paper in here probably not I've got iron on me let's go grab some paper actually six okay there's my portal crafter all right so let's make a hopper really quick Get our item filter. Oh, that doesn't work. Oh, that's right. I did it wrong. I was doing the hopper recipe again. Sorry about that. And, uh... Yeah, I was going with that. I don't care about that. Okay. Um... So over here, we're going to set a filter on this. And say... Um blacklist and we'll just say Sardis. Now I could whitelist and say charge Sardis but you know I don't have a charge Sardis on me right now so and that way it's only gonna pull out the charge Sardis on the brown channel and then we'll just bring this out and down We'll set up a chest here and a chest here. Now this one is going to extract on the green channel. This one's going to input on the brown channel. So now if we throw, say, half a stack of charged Sardis. Is it not going to work? That's how I've always automated it in the past. Let me see. Oh, you know what? I set up that filter in the wrong spot. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. There we go. So now... <coughs> sorry about that. I totally dirt. So now it's automatically creating charged Sardis for us. Um, so we can just throw in however much Sardis we want. It's going to charge it. And, um, you know, it really doesn't use a lot of power. And then as soon as it gets done, it's going to pull it out. So uh, we're pretty well set on the charged Sardis for right now. Eventually we'll automate with our applied energistic system. And, uh, you know, it'll be a step above then. And so the next thing that we want to set up and automate is the inscriber. Um, so let's... I know it's going to be a mess in here, but I apologize. <laughs> That's all I can say is that I apologize. Um, we'll set the inscriber up. Let's see, how do we want to do this? I guess right here and is that where I want it? No. Mm, yeah, yeah, actually. Actually it is. Okay. And we'll set our chest up right here. And another chest up right here now this one it has been a little while since I've automated it so 
bear with me. I think I've got an idea of how we're going to do this. <clears throat> so we'll set up set this to extract set this to insert. Now if I took let me grab a bit of silicone and this should auto select the slots I think it's a little bit easier with AE2 stuffs um, okay so that is what I was afraid of on that it is gonna base it on the slot side so here is going to input into the um, yeah so We'll do the bottom here can insert and then the top can insert and then it should go ahead and be kind of smart about how it does it. So if we throw the silicon press in there now, you know, it's making silicon and we can just set this up to extract always active and then insert and it should without too much issue do that. Now we are going to have to change out the presses. That's the only thing that's kind of an annoyance um, with this setup. Now eventually we will automate it. We'll have separate inscribers just with the presses already in there. That's how I usually do it. Um, but for right now we're being cheap and we're just going to set it up like that and just manually change out the presses. So I'll probably make like 64 of each uh, um, oh, uh, circuit at a time and um, just let them kind of kind of build up that way so silicon I'll probably throw some more in there and let it run for a while um, off camera but this episode I mainly just want to get things automated for us okay I got it um, just the basic machines and basically just barely stepping our feet into applied energistics because it is whole lot easier if we just set all this up for automation and yeah, we got our 32 charge let's go ahead and do some more of that that's fine we've got tons of power and we need to use it so the last thing that we're going to want to set up is our crystal growth accelerators um, we've got pretty much everything the only thing that we're going to need is this fluix block which I have just enough fluix left for one of these actually now that I think about it Um, oh, that's right, I'm not going to be able to shift click with this thing right now. I need to set some crafting tables up over there. Okay, so let's see here. There we go. Grab that. And since we don't have AE2 stuff, we are going to have to, for right now, we're going to monitor this. Eventually, we'll automate the, the shutoff and everything of it. Um, but for right now, we'll just have to manually do it. <clears throat> so, let me grab... Oh, I already had a water bucket. Sorry. Um... Yeah, and actually, since we've got this, let's go ahead and make ourselves a bit more <clears throat> Fluix. And redstone I'm good on. Let me go grab another stack of nether quartz. Let me grab actually like two stacks of it, because I'll go ahead and get some sag milling. And um, then I also want to... Turn a bit of it into charged sardis. Okay. So all of that, all of that, all of that. After this, we should be good to um, let's see we've got the quartz glass we've got glass cable probably not enough glass cable but 
um, I do have quartz fibers so okay so we're set to finish making um, all four of those it's just a little bit better in my opinion to make the four of them um, just because otherwise it takes forever forever and ever okay so let's get this we'll get three of these get three more crystal growth accelerators oh I'm out of iron okay and that's And I'll tell you what, let me grab um, like a crafting table or something. Because running over there every time is kind of annoying. So. And for now we'll just set this up um, right here. <clears throat> and get our crystal growth accelerators. Then we can just run our cabling. Oops. Well, actually. Yeah. So we'll just fill that in whenever we want to use it. Uh, it's not the most ideal <laughs> layout, actually, but that's okay. For right now, that'll be fine. Um, so let's get ourselves some sand and then some <clears throat> uh, fluix dust so we can get our pure fluix there we go we'll let that sag mill for a second while I run over and grab some sand and we'll make our first fluix seeds so okay. let's stack There we go. And we'll get this stuff growing. And you know, I'm kind of half tempted to just leave that plugged in because it's not like, you know, this power. It's not like it really matters. I mean, we have, well, the energy buffer, we have actually nothing right now, somehow. Oh, that's right, because we have it all going into this. Let's see how full this thing is. Uh, if I had a good, convenient way to get back there. This base, to me, just feels kind of cramped, you know? So let me know if you guys, oh, okay. Well, we don't have to worry about power. We've almost got 200 million RF in there, so. We are set on that. Um, <clears throat> so those those have still got a minute minute. So let's go ahead and take a look at our controller. Uh, we'll need some skystone engineering processor. Uh, that's kind of a pain. Okay, that's still got a while. Yeah, that's still got a while. Um, I tell you what. Let's see. The episode's running about 30 minutes as he is. I think I might end the episode there. Um, we covered like the basics of getting started. Um, you know, and automating the charger and the inscriber and everything. Semi-automating them. We'll do it better um, later on once we get our applied energistic system set up. Um, between this episode and next, I will prep a bunch of circuits. Or, uh, um, yeah, circuits. I'll, I'll prep a bunch of those, a couple stacks of each one, and um, I'll also get us some of that Skystone crafted because I know it's kind of a pain. So next episode, we'll actually be setting up our, our system proper, getting some storage in it, and we'll be moving away from those storage drawers soon. So then when we go to move, uh, if, we, you know, if we move bases and set up something different, um, it'll be a little bit easier to move everything because we can throw it all on ME drives and just pack it over that way. Um, 
so next episode we will be setting up the system um, I we might get into a little bit of automation as well um, depending because um, it shouldn't take us too too long to set all that up Let's see are those yeah those are done so we've got our pure fluix crystals um, that shouldn't really take us too long to get all that stuff set up and done so um, we'll probably get maybe cover a little bit of automation stuff not too too deep but um, uh, we'll probably get blank patterns and stuff like that auto automated so um, but yeah definitely let me know what you think about moving the base because um, I'm not entirely sure that I like this area um, and this design because it's gonna end up I mean theoretically it's it would be cool because I'm gonna build the building here um, that leads down to the tech building and have the farms out here but I don't know I mean I feel like just most of the base will be underground and it, I don't know I don't know how you guys feel about underground bases so just let me know in the comments you know if you have a preference um, it's very, very much appreciated and um, yeah and sorry we didn't get a whole lot covered this episode I know this episode was really just basics of applied energistics next episode we'll get into more of it uh, you know setting up and everything and then the episode after that we will probably cover um, super soar and drive um, P to P's and um, yeah kind of like the fine tuning of um, applied energistics I guess you could say um, requesting items or having uh, not requesting items but having items on hand constantly stuff like that so um, but yeah so if you enjoyed the episode as always comment like subscribe very, very much appreciated and um, until next episode, do take care, and I hope to see you then.